please welcome Grammy award-winning singer-songwriter Michelle Branch. Yeah. Well, first of all, thank you so much for joining. I know you have a new baby. Yeah. You've got this album, <laughs> and you are now in the headlines for. Yeah. She's cute. Uh, she's adorable. How old is she now? She's gonna be eight months in a few weeks. Eight months yeah. in a few weeks. Yeah. So you've got this baby. You've got the album, which is another baby. And then I go into the studio today and there are paparazzi all outside of our studio. <laughs> all outside of our studio. I'm like, okay, I know it's a big day when they're all lined up. And they're all out there because there's news now that after, first of all, let's go back to what happened at your okay. home. Because we know that there's a police report that is out. What do you want your fans to know? Yeah, I, I just wish that um, my husband and I are, have started therapy recently. Um, and I, I wish that we had started it six months ago. You know, I wish we had gotten help and talked to someone sooner. I think it's made such a huge difference in such a short amount of time. And so like, if there's anyone out there who's watching, like this is your sign. If you've been thinking about it, go talk to somebody. It's helped us immensely. Um, the night, uh, what, what went down was so, Unfortunate. It was like the worst night of my life. And then, um, you know, to have to like have that out into in the world as I'm like getting ready to put out a record has been a lot. But all I can do is be honest about what I'm going through and what's going on. And, you know, I'm not the first person to have yeah. gone through this. So there was a tweet that's been since deleted. Yes. With an accusation from you to him about infidelity. Yes. And soon after, a tabloid um, obtained a police report. Um, in it, it indicated that there was an altercation potentially at the home and that there were allegations that you had slapped him. <laughs> so you don't deny it. They're not allegations. Oh, they're not. Okay. <laughs> well, we said violence, real law. Vi violence, I, I don't condone violence. I slapped my husband, um, not the finest yeah. moment yeah. of my life. And full <laughs> disclosure, everyone knows that I <clears throat> speak out against violence, domestic violence, and, and, and I, one of the things I've not said publicly, even though I've done a lot of work inspired by the loss of my sister, I've been an advocate for people to understand that people make mistakes. And even in the world and conversation of domestic violence, we have to allow for people who make that mistake to be rehabilitated and have an opportunity to get it right. Yeah. We don't always show up on our best days. And I'll, and I'll tell you something else, Michelle. People said to me, well, if she were a male singer, yeah. would you be so kind to her? And I would, because everyone deserves their opportunity to say their piece. You've gone to therapy. Yeah. What are you dealing with or what are you learning in that therapy? And I know it's still very soon. Yeah, I mean, here I am. I, I'm only seven months postpartum from having a baby. I'm, I mean, every parent in the audience knows this, you know, sleep, stress, life stress, marriage stress, work stress. Um, definitely didn't. And also we had been out at a birthday party that night. I'd had a few drinks. It's like the, all the, the blocks were stacked in a way that, you know, I didn't have time to think about really yeah. what I was doing. Um, and, and it was like one of those things that I was like, is this really happening? Yeah. <laughs> Did this really just happen? Like, and you're realizing in real time, like, oh, I probably shouldn't have tweeted that. Oh, I probably definitely shouldn't have, you know, let my anger get yeah. the best of me. And um, yeah, it's unfortunate that it took this horrible traumatic event to hopefully um my husband and I are like maybe this like what how we were going was unsustainable so maybe this will give us the tools to have a stronger marriage than we've yeah. ever had so you know we're, sh we're rolling up our sleeves and doing the work which <laughs> never yeah. never sounds like fun but we're doing it um following um all of that there were reports of a divorce but then there's a report that You've called off the divorce. 
and as you just pointed out, in therapy to try to make it work. So yeah. are, that is true. You're yeah. pausing on the divorce. We um, we decided to pause the divorce to give a six month mediation period to like deep dive into therapy and see if we can make decisions not in a moment based of fear and you know actually figure out what we want. You and want your marriage to work. I do desperately. I've never, yeah, we have two beautiful young children. I, I've been thinking about it a lot recently, like nobody's perfect, okay. you know? And um, trying to figure out where, you know, as you say, like giving people a chance to do the right thing, the right and thing right. learn and grow, and life is long. Life is long, <laughs> and it's complicated. Um, one of the things that is also complicating is that you work together. Yeah. This new album um, is a collaboration, if you will, between the two of you. You're going through this turbulent moment, you have this album and you're working together. How do you balance that? Because I can imagine that adds to it. You know, it's funny, I feel like our work relationship, I can compartmentalize it a bit. I'm so proud of the record that we made together. And, um, you know, even just this morning, he's on the road and he's like, how's it going? You know, how's the album being received? And um, I'm immensely proud of the work we have together. And I think uh, above all, like he's one of my best friends. He's one of my favorite people to collaborate with and work with. And so there's a, a there's many layers to yeah. this, you know? Yeah, there are. I know that I, I read a quote that one of your good friends, uh, country star Casey Musgrave, told you that I don't know about you, but I do better when I'm busy. And I think yeah. you went to her and you asked her about, you know, when you're going through something, how do you deal with it? And she said, get busy. So yeah. now you're on tour, <laughs> you're doing all of that. I mean, listen, country music wouldn't be country music without pain. Right? Blue, the blues <laughs> would, I mean, every great country song was because of somebody going through something. Um, that advice that she gave you, how have you used that to your advantage now? Yeah, there was a moment initially when I said, you know, is this the wrong time to go on tour and put out a record? What should I do? And she was like, I don't know about you, but I'd, I'd go on tour. And I was like, you know what, you're right. If I was home, I think I would probably just be like, living in this yeah. and and letting it kind of take over and this has been like the most cathartic way to move on of like going out and playing shows and seeing people who are supportive and um you know they they I feel like my audience has really like shown up for me <laughs> recently um which has been a lovely um feeling yeah and it's lovely to hear I mean you just said he called you your husband said checking in to see how things are going that is, that's great to hear, you know? <laughs> that's great to hear in the midst of all of that, that you're trying to be there for each other.